Hi everybody, I have a message here from Anonymous. Hi Ollie, this is the second part of my message in response to your video, The Carlberg Narcissist is Exposed When the Overt Narcissist Dies. My second question has to do with narcissism and career choices. I recently finished my undergrad and I'm all set up to start grad school in the next few weeks. For the longest time, my parents always wanted me to be a teacher, so I applied to a teaching grad program and was accepted. I love working with kids and had several teachers tell me that I should teach throughout my education. So it wasn't completely off base that my parents would suggest teaching, although I would want to teach abroad, not in the States, and mainly because I want to live abroad. I would never have considered teaching if, it had, if I had to teach in the States for my whole career. All throughout the grad school application process, I have been feeling like this isn't the right career choice for me and that I should be pushing a different path. I even found myself hoping, almost hoping that I wouldn't pass the entrance exam so I'd be forced to do something else and that something else would be design school. Also, the closer I get to the program starting, the more and more I felt like this isn't the right choice for me. I'm now 24 years old. Back when I was in senior high school, I took a year of textiles and really loved and excelled in the program. Although I didn't actually learn how to design clothing in the textiles program, I taught myself and designed my first garment, my own prom dress at the age of 17. I was very passionate about sewing design and would sew and design almost every day after school. I, of course, wanted to go to design school after graduating, but my parents wouldn't allow it. Since I was living with them, I really couldn't realistically move out. I basically had to obey their orders. They made a whole ordeal. They made it a. They made the whole ordeal made it difficult for me to find the inspiration to keep designing and sewing. Just in the last year or so, now that I've gone no contact and have been working on recovering from narcissistic abuse, I've been designing for myself again. I also just started working very part time with a local designer. Now that I've successfully escaped my parents, I have this desire to pursue a career in design. I still want to go to grad school, but I want to study design instead. However, both the idea both excites and terrifies me. I honestly might enjoy teaching, but I don't think I could do it for the next 30 years. It is also a much more limited career than design, and salary would be much less what I'd like to make if I'm a successful designer. However, I'm almost terrified to change career choices and it's taken me months to finally admit to myself this is what I want. I assume that this conflicting feeling and the fear that I have about the situation is because of how my parents handled the situation back when I was 17. My mom taught, me, taught media to teachers and my dad wished that he had been a teacher, although he couldn't teach much of anything, much of anything to anyone in my opinion. So they really pushed me into it. So my question is, can you, can you at all relate to this fear of having, about having to pursue what you really want, especially when it conflicts with the narcissist forced on you, wanted for you? I have a lot of difficulty making this decision, but honestly, but I honestly think that it's what I want to do with my life. Do you have any advice for me? Thank you so much, Ollie Anonymous. Yeah. Why would you do anything that the narcissist wants you to do after no contact? You already answered your own question here. You know you don't want to teach. You know what you want to do. And what you're really afraid of is the narcissist getting mad at you. But the narcissist is no con you're no contact. They're out of your life. There are no reps, there are no repercussions of this. There is no house for them to kick you out of. I mean, you've already proved the ap aptitude to get a degree. The narcissist wants, to, wants you to live their life, not your own. They don't ever want you to be more successful than them. So why would you allow them to push you into the same career as them? One who's in it, the other one who's too dumb to do it. You go ahead and teach in two years, and if it even takes that long, you're going to be miserable. And then you're going to get tenure somewhere. And then you're going to be locked in to a career you hate. And you're going to be bound down by the money and then the, and the, the, 
you know, the money that it brings and the tenure and the security, and you're going to grow up bitter and you're going to live the rest of your life bitter and miserable, going to sleep at night wondering what if. There's nothing wrong with trying. You already have the teaching certificate, the teaching degree. So you have something to fall back on. So why not follow your dreams? The narcissist would get mad regardless. The point of no contact is to show the narcissist you don't control them. By not doing design school and what you really want, you're allowing them to continue to control your life post no contact. That's what you're doing. Because you're acting like they're still there and they're not. You can do whatever you want to do. Everybody has fears of starting something new. I mean, look at this, what I'm doing. But you got to work past it. You got to do it. Because there's nothing the narcissist can do to stop you at this point. You cut them out. They're gone. There are no repercussions. Don't let the narcissist continue to control you after no contact. Because that's what you're doing. So... I hope that helps. I hope you make the right decision. I hope you go to design school because you still have a fallback even if that doesn't work out. So who cares? You're 24. This is when you're supposed to be make, taking some risks in your life. Go ahead and do it. The narcissist can't stop you. So hope that helps. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any advice or comments in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel or you have some audio that you'd like to expose or a topic you'd like me to cover or you'd just like to contribute, you know what to do with the PayPal link in the description box. Even if you can't contribute, send me your story. I'll still get to it, and I'll have the video right back to you. This is Ali Matthews. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.